So now, we're finally done with all of this calculation. So we will write, your answer is, don't forget the count. And now you put the operators, make sure to put the quotation before, then put a. So it will display in the quote what the variable a is equal to. Now, we will write more operators, and we will write another set just for a period. Then we write our end line command, and we're done with our program. This is our Atwin machine program, and let's test out the values we used before, which look to be 3 and 5. So if we plug that in, I'm waiting for the program to load. Okay, if we plug that in, we get 2.4525. Great! That means everything is working perfectly. So now, may I distribute the homework? Thank you so much, everybody, for the round of applause. Now you know that coding and physics are so interconnected that they're two faces of the same coin. Now, let's get the homework for tomorrow. Feeling a bit tired after such a long lecture. Can you distribute the homework for me, Akash? No problem, Professor. I'll give you the homework.